Hello, my name is Shreya Majumdar, a sophomore studying astronomy in the College of LAS. Today, I am joined by Professor Leslie Looney from the astronomy department. Join us as we walk the quad and have a great conversation today. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. So, <laughs> so what do you teach and how long have you been with the U of I? I teach astronomy, which is the study of the universe and really ourselves. It's the coolest science, right? I mean, definitely. Whether it's black holes, the Big Bang, galaxies, stars, neutron stars, planets, moons, whatever, everyone's interested in astronomy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the first original four liberal arts defined by the Greeks. So it's an essential part of any education. That's amazing. So what is your research expertise? I study baby stars. Stars like the sun, but 4.6 er years, billion years earlier. Mm -hmm. This is when they're big and fluffy and cute before they start fusing hydrogen and helium like our sun. Mm -hmm. These are objects with swirling disks of gas and dust around them that are gonna form planetary systems like our own. Mm -hmm. So what do you find fascinating about astronomy in this field of study? Discovery. Mm -hmm. I like to discover new things. For example, when I spring up a, an image on my computer screen of a brand new star that no one's ever seen before, that's exciting. It really gets me excited and interested to tell the world about it. So I'm curious, with everything that's going on in the world right now, why study astronomy? Astronomy is understanding ourselves. Our planet, our solar system, it's formed from the debris of old stars. The blood in our veins, the iron of it, came from an exploded star billions of years ago. If we don't understand that, we don't understand our past, we need to understand our present, the pandemic, and our context for global warming, mm -hmm. and our future, space travel. It's all part of astronomy. Right. So what is your favorite aspect of astronomy that you would look forward to teaching the incoming students? I actually like to teach them about aliens, believe it or not. I, I like the idea of understanding something scientifically for the first time. Our generation can really study this scientifically without pseudoscience, mm -hmm. UFOs, crop circles, without worrying about mythology or science fiction. Mm -hmm. We know of a thousand uh, planets around other stars now. We didn't know that before. We know life, how life begins on our own, our own Earth better than ever before. So we're really addressing this question, I think the fundamental question of all time, which is, are we alone? So coming to that, I have a question for you. What are the chances that ET has actually visited us in the past? It's always possible, mm -hmm. but ancient aliens is not a thing. I don't think that aliens visited us. Contacting us is possible. They might have tried in the past, but we don't know. That'd be interesting. Yeah. So uh, what are the projects you're working on and what are you most excited about right now? Right now, I'm working on a big international project mm -hmm. with a telescope that's worth one, that's cost $1.4 billion to build called ALMA in Chile. Wow. And we're using that 50 radio telescope antennas to probe these baby stars and look at the dust around them to see if planetary systems form in the very earliest stages, because we don't know when they form. Mm -hmm. And that's really exciting. That definitely is. So I have a bunch of rapid fire questions for you. Okay. So what's one piece of advice you would like to give the incoming students? Uh, eat healthier and exercise more. Coming to that, what's your favorite place on campus to eat? Okay, maybe ignore that eat more healthy, but I really <laughs> like Murphy's. Oh. I like the selection of beer and the pub food. Wow, so if you were to describe U of I in three words. Excellence, creativity, mm -hmm. fun. I agree with fun. <laughs> so what's your favorite U of I memory? My favorite memory is actually one of my undergraduates uh, who did research with me. He went on to uh, go to graduate school, get a very prestigious uh, postdoc fellowship, and then came back to the university to uh, give a colloquium to our department. Wow. And as faculty, we forget the impact we have on undergraduates sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it was great to see that journey from him being in my class at a very young age uh, to becoming an expert in his field. I just wow move me dramatically. <laughs> wow, so uh, I'm curious, what's your favorite building on campus? It has to be the observatory. The 125 year old telescope that was first used to detect light electronically. Mm -hmm. It's kind of impacted our field of astronomy, but also how we use cameras today. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of cool. That definitely is. So quick question, orange or blue? Blue. Ah, nice choice. So 
Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out all of our episodes of 940 Feet on our YouTube page.